And we're gonna enter the draft right now. Let's see this draft class. I never look at it right until it's time. The Avalanche wanna trade the first overall pick. I honestly think that's completely unrealistic unless you are trying to get the Sedin twins. Only a medium elite this time. Michael Misa up here. I might make him medium franchise because this kid is an animal in real life. I might have to do that. Let me know in the comments below if I should do that. Also, please like and subscribe. It would really mean a lot. We have a medium elite here. So the scouts have done their job this time around. Alexander Lebedev is supposed to go in the fourth round and he's a medium elite so we'll be able to take him. And also later in the first round, so I'm gonna try and move back. Lane Gibbons, so two medium elites that we should be able to pick up with our first and second round pick. If you haven't watched my other draft episodes, I can only use my first and second round pick. The rest has to be auto picked simply because it's really easy to build through the draft and just get way too much trade value compared to what you're actually supposed to get. So we're gonna sim to pick 12 right here. Some medium top sixes. 82 medium elite one, so nothing too crazy with Gamble there. A high top 4-3. I'm sorry, Buffalo. That's not going to help you too much. Michael Misa to the Canadian. 76 overall medium elite. I think I'm going to trade with Ottawa here. I don't want to move back too much, but I'd like to move back a little bit, see what we can bring along. There's somebody here on Ottawa with my last name. You love to see that. We're going to see if Ottawa takes this deal. Topi Niemela they want to get rid of for moving up four spots. I feel like they're gonna say no, and they do. And I was just looking through my trade values, and this is horrible news that Edvinson was hurt a lot last year, and he is now low elite potential. Very disappointing, I had high hopes for him, but apparently he's never gonna reach them. I'm gonna throw in Jack Drury here. He was a little bit disappointing for us. Let's see what they say. Trade accepted, I didn't think they're gonna take that. So Topi Niemela should help out our defense within the next two seasons. And we're moving back. Ottawa with that pick took Nicholas, medium top six, 64 overall. We are going to take Gibbons right here. Guaranteed, medium elite. Lane Gibbons, let's see his overall. He's only medium top six. That looked like medium elite on my screen. Maybe it's just the TV. I'm still, I'm glad I moved back now because that's the same exact pick that Ottawa made. We actually got a, we actually got a better player plus Topi Niemela, so it's still that trade is a win, but that's disappointing that he's in the medium top six. And here's where the scouts really did a good job. Alexander Lebedev, he is truly a guaranteed medium elite, I hope. Yep, 54 overall center. That's the steal of the draft right there, and now we're gonna keep simming. We sim our fourth round pick, medium top nine. You know what, I will gladly take that. Plus he's a 64 overall, that guy actually has potential, Douglas. Our sixth round pick was a medium bottom six guy, so that's disappointing. And our seventh round pick, also medium bottom six. I'll take anything not AHL potential in the seventh round. So here is our draft class. Three potential NHLers out of it, one being elite potential, one top six potential. So pretty solid draft for us. Nothing spectacular, but it was good. Philip Zania is an 88 overall. He's still an RFA. His point totals have been a little disappointing, so let's see what he wants. That's pretty fair for a middle six forward. Honestly, four years at six and a half million a year. I'll go 6.55. I think that's a fair deal for Philip Zadina. Marchessault went up to an 87 and wants to resign, but he was truly a rental. I don't think he's worth it, so we're gonna let him go. Krejci doesn't want to resign, wants a lot of money, so I'll let him go as well. Soderblom is up to an 85 overall. I think a four-year bridge deal would be pretty fair at 3.7 million a year. Let's see what he says. Matt Dumbo wants to come back, but we haven't won with him. He's only an 84 now. I'm gonna let him go. And I wanna try out some different guys on D. Fabry wants such a cheap deal after an injury plagued season. Three years, 2.6 million a year for 84 overall is a fantastic deal. David Braun still wants to come back for us. He's still been producing. I'm gonna offer him one year, 1.8 million a year, because I expect his overall to finally drop. Beauvillier didn't really work out for us, and he doesn't want to come back, so we're just going to let him go. Gustav Lindstrom was two years, 775k. Absolutely, we'll do that deal, Gustav. We're qualifying Tyler Madden and Ryan McLeod. Giovanni Smith wants too much money, we're going to release him. Reichel will qualify. Berggren will qualify. Santiago Vallette is up to a 70 overall, age 20. He's growing quite nicely, 
and it's time for him to get his entry level deal. I'm excited about this one. We're giving Kosa backup money for four years in hopes that his overall growth goes up. If it doesn't, this contract will not come back to bite us. If he does grow, it will be an absolute steal. Anunin wants two years, 775K, we'll give him that. We have qualified Yan Betnash. Billy Huso wants, I, I'm gonna try out a new goalie this year. Huso just hasn't gotten the job done. Goodbye, Billy, and thank you, you were solid for us. Perron rejects, Fabry says yes, so he's on a steal of a contract, that's cool. Lindstrom accepts, Zadina says no, Anunin accepts, Soderblom accepts, Kosa does accept, so he's a true NHLer now. Follett, of course, accepts. Let's offer Zadina four by 6.7 a year. I'll offer Perron one year, 1.95, and if he says no, I'm gonna let him walk. Perron says yes, and Zadina says yes. Reichel accepts, McLeod accepts, Bergeron accepts. We have some solid depth on forward now. Moore accepts, Niederbach, Kopi Niemela. I do have to hire a new coach. The assistant coach wanted to become a head coach, and obviously I wasn't gonna do that. So let's see what we have for coaches. We are gonna offer Brent Burns a contract to be the assistant coach of the Detroit Red Wings. I really hope he accepts it. Let's check free agency, here we go. Come on, someone big. I don't even know what we need. I haven't looked at my roster. Ellie Tolvanen is the top guy. That is kind of surprising. Marchand wants a lot for an 86. Patty Kane might be a good deal if you can get him for one year. We have 13 million in cap space. Let's see what we have for goaltenders. Igor Shesterkin is available. Now, is it worth spending the big bucks on a goalie? Because that's a pretty low contract and no one wants him. 909 save percentage last is actually really solid with the Sims scoring on high. We're, we're going for Igor Shesterkin. I didn't expect this. I'm offering a, a five year, $8.4 million contract, paying him a little bit extra because I'm changing the years. At that point, him and Kosa should be like the best duo in the NHL. He'll still be good, it'll be a tandem at that point, but right now we need an elite starting goalie and we will have one here. There's also a medium elite goaltending prospect here, so we're obviously gonna try and sign him. He's an RFA, I doubt we get him, but it doesn't hurt to try. So I'm trying to trade Andrew Kopp and Ben Sherratt for a first round pick from Ottawa. Let's see what they say. Woefully insufficient. We're gonna add on a prospect here. I've added on Tyler Madden. We're likely not gonna keep him because he wants a little more than I'm willing to pay. Now let's see what they say. Still rejected. Adding on Madden and Niederbach. Trade value is on our side. They still are it's woefully insufficient. Here we've got Chirac, Cobb, and Madden to Vancouver for a first, trying to unload on those deals, get some more money to spend. Trade's rejected. I'm just gonna throw on a fourth. I think they're gonna take this now. Nope. Fourth and a fifth. I'm throwing away these late picks. Let's see what they say. Just a bit low. We're gonna retain on Chirac. Trade's accepted, so an extra million bucks to get rid of Ben Chirac. Those big Steve Y signings in this real life offseason are now off the team. Alex Kalorin's getting up there in age, but he's still an 83 overall at the moment. We're gonna offer him a one year, $1.85 million contract. We're gonna offer Brock Besser a contract. He only wants a three year deal. We're gonna pay him a little extra. I wanna make sure we get him as an 86 overall, three year, $5.8 million guy who can put the puck in the back of the net. Hopefully he signs with us. So looking at the price of defenseman, I'm really glad I traded for Zach Whitecloud. Brent Burns is now a coach, that is awesome. Alex Klorn accepts, medium league goalie says no. Come on, here we go, here's the big day, here's the big day. Igor Shesterkin is now a member of the Detroit Red Wings. Let's go. Brock Besser accepts too, this team is going to rebound. I'm gonna sim to the next season now and I'll let you know if there's any big trade offers. So we didn't have any big trade offers in the next episode. I am gonna call it that we will win the President's Trophy. That's really bold after missing the playoffs, but I'm just gonna call it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and please leave any suggestions in the comments below.